Welcome aboard the Amtrak Sierra Pacific. Today's run will take us from the Alhambra station to our destination at Zion. Along the route, we'll be climbing from sea level through the mountains at Powderhorn and the snowsheds of Red Cliff before rolling back down to sea level at the end of the day. Scenery includes a mixture of industrial development, switching yards, small town life, and snow-covered peaks. We'll pass through tunnels and over canyons on nosebleed bridges. We will be making a couple of stops today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. Vanderbilt, Flagler, Huntington, Durant, Hill, and Lionel. These were some of the men who built the railroads, both big and small, that crossed the United States. Joshua Lionel Cohen, one of the two founders of the Lionel Corporation, once the world's largest toy company, helped usher in the age of electric toys with their popular bottle trains. During the 1950s, their O-gauge layouts were being eclipsed by the more realistic HO scale trains. In 1940, a group of men gathered in Pasadena, California to form the Pasadena Model Railroad Club. Over the years, the club's layout would grow to become one of the largest HO scale layouts in the United States. Today, the public is welcome to visit and admire this exceptional achievement. Twice a year, in the spring and fall, the club hosts an open house. For a small fee, train, model enthusiasts, and excited children and their parents are invited to behold a model train layout that seems to defy the imagination. Passing the Bend Tunnel, our F-40 PH Motive team pulls our train's 14 cars past an eastbound freight, leaving the industrial center at Colton. The first question some people ask is, how in the world did you do this? The answer to that question begins in April 1940. Six HO enthusiasts met in Pasadena, agreeing to form a club to develop and show their model train layouts. The members originally met in their homes, but before long combined their individual layouts in an old 25 foot by 20 foot retail shop at 856 East Maple Street in Pasadena. Brass rails and fiber ties were the standard, with power supplied by six volt car batteries. The new layout was christened the Sierra Pacific Railroad and bears that name today. In 1956, a large storeroom under the original layout became available and the club started a new layout in a 45 by 40 foot space. At this time, the club upgraded its construction standards with hand spiked extruded steel rails and closed frog turnouts. It has been the club's adherence to these rigid standards that has allowed the layout to develop to its current scope. taking the beat train, one of the longest dedicated trains we'll see today. In 1963, the state of California had its own plans for the Sierra Pacific Railroad. The 210 freeway was coming through. A new location had to be found and a survey party was organized. Their efforts resulted in a new location, a small basement bowling alley at 139 West Main Street in Alhambra. It was here in 110 foot by 47 foot space that the Alhambra design concept seen today was born. The point to point single track system with long passing sidings and commercial industries. 